Chapter 17 Yako Squadron Returns Ever since the former right paw-hand man, Sozan Yako, had sacrificed his future for the sake of his companions, Ferusian Red, Glacia Snow, and Fennec, the three Kitsune members of Yako Squadron, had started a new life together in the Confederate Republic of Sosuda. Fennec was a Fennec Fox Kitsune, with three tails living life quiet comfy with his four-tailed Arctic Fox Kitsune girlfriend, Glacia Snow. But of course, the two ended up getting drunk and yiffing, leading them to become eventual lifelong mates, as was the custom of the Kitsune culture before the age of decadence. They then set out their wedding plans, even if their parents weren't allowed to leave the Kitsune clan for having less than five tails, as privileges to leave the Kitsune clan was only granted to those who had five or more tails, or had special permission. But with Glacia, Fennec leaving the Kitsune clan for good, and seeing how things were different in Solsuda, they had no desire to return. As for Ferusian, he had a difficulty finally understanding what Yako meant when he said, if he saw more of the world, he would understand why Yako didn't believe the word Inari, or the political propaganda embedded into Kitsune clan media said. And having experienced the freedom to peacefully assemble, and to speak his mind how he so chose, as was customary in Solsuda, it frightened him, unsure of what to make of his newfound freedom from Inari's repression. And in this fear, he almost wanted to return to the Kitsune clan and live under Inari, because even though he didn't have many freedoms being less than seven tails, he at least had the comfort of a strict structure on how to live his life. But with his close friends, Glacia and Fennec, Ferusian was able to get by, and his freedom to read the real Kitsune clan classics, like the works of the nine-tailed historian and philosopher Amenhotep, and the works of Friar Victor, gave him some connection to the life he had before leaving the clan. And as Ferusian became more in touch with his Kitsune's true heritage that had been destroyed through decadence, he began to abandon the modern ways of gluttony, lust, and avarice for the old ways of honor, sincerity, and purity. And if that meant the modern Kitsune clan labeling him and other Kitsunes for following after the old ways as Nojitsunes, Perhaps Nojitsune was no longer a mark of shame, but a name of honor. And while Ferusian, Fennec, and Glacia were sharing a house together that they had already paid off, Ferusian retrieved the mail to find a draft noticed. But rather than be separated by the draft, the Solstern government put into place to draft members to fight the war against the Valkyries that had been going on since the victory of Glass Cannon. Ferusian, Glacia, and Fennec decided they would all enlist together, and their first mission was to defend Ironhenge. To whom it may concern and the Council of the Nine Executors, as the acting leader of the Kitsune clan in place of Lady Inari, Chief Executor Vixie Reddington, I am seeking solution to carry this economy through the coming economic depression while minimizing the damage done to the general populace. I have also been given the permission from Lady Inari to disclose that the keys of prosperity have been stolen and have not been recovered. However, we do know who has hold of them based on the key's magical resonance signature, and it is none other than the dark mage Isis under the command of King Azrael of the Void Kingdom. We are still unsure as to what the motive behind this action was. However, on a more private note, from the magical resonance detection, Lady Inari regrets to inform you that the keys of prosperity were discovered to be powered through dark magic. That means if we are to recover them, using them would actually cause more damage to the clan. Hence, Lady Inari has decided that the keys of prosperity ought to be destroyed. I know she really didn't want to, to do this and destroy an important object of our heritage. But taking into account the long-term consequences and the deeply held values of our culture, 
She has deemed it best to have the keys of prosperity destroyed and find other ways to bring prosperity to the clan. It is also necessary to destroy these artifacts in order to prevent them from falling into the wrong hands. I must also inform you that the disclosure of this information to the general public outside our Council of Nine Executors will be under penalty of treason in order to prevent public mass panic. We cannot afford the breakdown of society. So with our current options, I believe it is safer to ease into the coming economic depression rather than fall into it all at once with mass breakdown of the civil order. We already had enough of that while Gumiho was still roaming around. On a more positive note, a cure for dark magic has been discovered, and that's thanks to Lady Inari's brother, Friar Victor, and the people he was with. The only downside is that the cure is likely to be a source of conflict between the members of our society. Specifically, I expect this conflict to be between the wealthy members of our society who align themselves with the cult of Okami Inari and Lady Inari's brother aligned with those who have chosen to follow after him in the Zolsuran Universal Church. I am also well aware everyone here already knows what I believe, and that I don't follow after the cult of Inari's practices. But knowing how much the wealthy members of our society are engaged in politics, it would not come as a surprise to me if they attempted to silence Lady Inari's brother in order for their impure and dishonorable actions to remain unopposed. And Lady Inari's brother does have a history of putting the needs of society above the needs of a select few, and with his seeming growing notoriety and popularity in the clan, he now poses a legitimate political threat to their corruption. Fortunately, Lady Inari and I have caught on to this, and have taken measures to ensure that if any of these wealthy members of of society attempt anything, in spite of Lady Inari's brother doing a public service in curing dark magic, they will be treated as starting an insurrection and dealt with accordingly. I am also aware of the historical great burning of 1284, when our clan on a mass scale burned almost every Inari shrine in the whole country but that was more so a result of the general population and had nothing to do with Lady Inari's brother who didn't actually kill the image of Inari. So, there was no reason as to why we need to keep Lady Inari's brother on a straight leash. If anything, Lady Inari herself knows this and has for the most part let him be knowing the same facts of what happened as I do. Any conspiracy theories that his allegiance to the Tanakis and that he's a traitor to the clan for not worshipping Okami Inari are fabrications and not based in reality, and instead based on political propaganda. In the meantime, I'm looking into opening up our economy to the outside world, because I think it is necessary to ease the coming economic depression. I know our clan has been isolationist for the past 100 years. But with our current economic state, we cannot remain like this. But I will never make this opening up to the outside world a cause to destroy our culture and identity. We will remain who we are, but with our enormous and disproportionate wealth compared to almost every other nation, we can afford to buy the materials and resources we need to get through the depression and use our common ingenuity to find solutions to our problems. With best intentions. Chief Executor Vixie Reddington Keys of Prosperity While Isis was alone in her dark mage's chamber in King Azriel's floating palace, she had a copy of the 4,000-year-old papyrus scroll written in the, in the oldest Kitsune clan language, containing the precise instructions for the spell to use the Keys of Prosperity. However, Knowing the ancient Kitsunes would guard the secrets of their powerful magic, she had her now dead accolade, Gumiho, discover those secrets to complete the spell only known through the oral tradition. So with the keys of prosperity in her neko paw hands, Isis dressed in a replica of the image of Inari's ceremonial vestments and began the ritual to empower the keys of prosperity. 
and as the ritual continued, Isis felt the ambition inflate inside her more than it already was, as well as her delusions of grandeur, and in her state under a massive influx of dark magic. She used the keys of prosperity to increase the power of King Azrael's economy to eventually become her loyal slaves once it became her time to betray the king. Ironhenge Restoration With Ironhenge under the restoration, the project remained mostly hidden from Prince Darius's notice, as he was having lavish parties in New Lansaro Palace and forcing Queen Ariana to attend for his own amusement. After all, it was quite arousing for him to assert influence over such a powerful queen of such a powerful empire. Meanwhile, the Kitsune clan was taking in billions of dollars' worth of money from the Confederacy of South Selene, purchasing the high-quality components to rebuild Ironhenge. Even if the Kitsune clan couldn't mass-produce things to the scale of other countries, it was unmatched in quality by all except the best of the American and Zosurans had to offer and those high-quality components were needed if Ironhenge was to be made operational again, and better than the original Zulcerin-made components that had been maintained since the 1980s to the 2090s. There was also the issue of power consumption, and long charging times of the original 1980s components that made up the railgun network causing it to, its 13 railguns to consume the power of eight coal-fired power plants, while shutting down electricity in thirteen surrounding cities. Now, with the Kitsune clans redesigning Iron Henge's components, it would now have its own dedicated power supply, with more robust redundant systems, and only need to draw one external coal power plant to increase its fire rate. Then, with the Kitsune clans' modified KCAS-21 Coonhound air superiority fighters now much better than the Valkyrie's stolen fighters and bombers, both the Confederacy and Selene's Empire had a weapons platform that could take on the large air forces of the Valkyrie Kingdom, with only a fraction of the air force needed. And if Iron Hand is rebuilt before Prince Darius were to catch on, his space and air power will become all but meaningless, just like the Selene's Empire in its civil war against the Confederacy of South Selene until Natalia destroyed Iron Hand, making a would-be easy victory for the Confederacy into a draw.